Wait, that pack punch? Yes, this is it. This is it. This is the last one. Last boss right here and we unlock it. Pop rune of fire. Come on, get out of my way. I don't want to go down for this. Insta kill. This is it. Dark Aether. Where is he? Right here. He's charging me. Oh no. Oh no. This is it. Dark Aether. Yes, that's it. We just got Dark Aether. Come on, please pop up. Dark Matter. Today is finally the day we unlock this beautiful mastery camo. I cannot wait. We are literally one gun away from unlocking this. If you guys know, a couple months ago, I posted me unlocking DM Ultra. Now here, my man, I call him finally about to unlock Dark Aether. My first time ever unlocking this, so I'm super excited. All we need left are some normal kills. All we need left are some more single shot kills, which should be easier in the easier rounds plus insta kills. Then we almost need about like 600 something pack a punch kills. We still need a lot of boss kills, but I think this will be all right. And then that's it. Then we unlock gold, which will unlock us Plague Diamond, which will then unlock us Dark Aether. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! If you guys are brand new, please like and subscribe. The map I'm choosing to do this on is actually Forsaken. So to unlock Dark Aether, I hope it's going to be on Forsaken. The reason I'm choosing this map is just because it's super easy for boss kills. Plus the spawn room, maybe I can get five zombies in one. If you guys actually want to see more zombie videos, please let me know, by the way. I'm down to do zombies. I'm so down. I just need five zombies to get together. I got to get PhD too, so I don't hurt myself. PhD and Jug. Get my hunter free points right here. Five zombies. Please one shot them. It did. Okay, that's definitely one. There's five zombies right here. Five zombies right here. There we go. That's another one down. Round five. Oh, this is going by fast. There we go. 40 times. How many times is it total? 50? We need 10 more. That could be another one. Double points is what we needed. Let's go. How many zombies are by me? Rain of fire. Rain of fire time. Please tell me there's five in a group. Insta kill two. That's what I need. Quickly need to get five zombies here together. There's definitely going to be five here, right? Like right here. That's one. I think we just probably need a couple more. Here's another five zombies. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Another five. Another five. We probably just need a couple more. Okay. I'm going to go through the teleporter at this point. I know we don't have a lot of points, but my RPG is going to be starting to get weak. I'm just happy to finally finish this camo grind. I actually spent the past couple weeks actually playing a lot of this. I regret it. No, I've actually had so much fun playing Cold War zombies, which is kind of crazy. If I had to go like my favorite zombies, BO3 would easily be one. BO2, two. Then three could be Cold War. I think that's a bit of a hot take, but hey, can't, can't agree with my opinions. I don't think this is going to one shot them if I go like that. I gotta get this thing pack punched. I plan on doing this on my second account as well, which if I do on my second account, I know it's gonna take me a long time. The fact I'm gonna have to do it on every single gun again, because I would say for each gun, it takes at least like an hour, maybe two. Up to like round 40, 50, you'll be able to get one gun done. Towards the end of the grind, once I got efficient, I think I was probably getting every single gun done in about like two hours, which was like round 50, and I had probably like two guns done per round. The thing is, to get pack a punch is super annoying. Russia. Mother Russia. I just have to spend a lot of points trying to get this. I just hope I have enough points for this. Here's this piece. Here's this piece. Where's this one? Here it is. And lastly, the last piece should be around here. Here it is. I'm curious. By the way, let me know if you guys actually enjoyed Cold War Zombies. I think Cold War Zombies is super enjoyable, but it's definitely not my favorite zombies like I was mentioning earlier. Nothing will ever beat BO3 Zombies. I think BO3 Zombies did it perfect. That's why I'm super excited for Black Ops 6 Zombies, because I think it's going to be a mix of BO3 and Cold War Zombies, which BO3 aspect will make it good, and then the Cold War aspect will actually make it fun. All right, time to go beat this boss. I'm hoping he won't be too strong for the RPG. Let's do this thing. Right in here. Yeah. Did I hit him? Not for much. Oh, this does no damage. Oh, this does no damage. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Buy ammo. Start shooting at me. Aha. Let him charge at me. Call my arena fire in, and hopefully this will do him. Oh, yeah. He's almost dead. One more shot. There we go. Four special kills. We just need six more, and then we're good. We also just head right through here, and then we turn this on. Here's PhD, which I do want, and I think I'm gonna get PhD before I get pack a punch. I don't know if that's smart or not, because if you guys see, I just don't take damage anymore. I just can't wait to be done with this grind, man. Okay, I gotta get five zombies together. I believe this thing will one shot still. It does not. Oh wait, duh. I'm an idiot. I forgot. I don't even have a pack a punch yet. Just need like two more zombie kills. One more zombie kill. There we go. Now we can actually go get pack a punch on this thing. Pack a punch one. Let's go. Ooh, the camo for Forsaken pack punch. I've never seen this. I don't know. It doesn't look great, but it doesn't look bad in any way. I just need about 600 kills with this. I think I'm going to get the pack a punch kills before the boss kills. I got to remember how many bosses are left as well. I want to see if I know when I'm going to be able to get Dark Aether or if it's just going to randomly pop up. Just need five zombies to be together. Okay, we got five zombies here. Good. Yeah, I said one shots. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, we did it. That camo challenge is fully done now. Now we just need to worry on kills and boss kills and we get dark aether. I can just pretty much like speed run through some of these rounds now. Finally, having Dark Aether is going to be so nice. It literally looks 10 times better than DM Ultra. I feel like zombie camos are always so much better than the multiplayer camos. I don't know if I'm the only one that thinks like that, but I really do think that's always the case. 1,000 kills. Is that it? There's a 1,500. I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm pretty sure it's just a 1,500 kills with Pack-A-Punch. Another round down. I'm going to have to go get the rest of my perks, I think. Or maybe I can survive this. I need the Mimics. The Mimics boss kills, there's a lot of them. There's like two to three per round once we get to like round 15, I think. Once I get those guys coming here, we should be able to wrap up the boss kills so fast. And for rocket launchers and secondaries in general, I think you only need 10 while the other ARs and all that needed 15. What is that, nuke? I do not want a nuke. Man, that was such a fast round. We're gonna head on over here. Make sure we get some stamina. Also get some quick revive. Gotta quickly teleport over here. Cause now we'll be able to get speed cola, which we're still 400 points short. What is this? I'll take an arcade token. Something for the Easter egg. I've never done a Cold War Easter egg. All right, now we can get Speed Cola. All right, we have no more ammo. That's a big concern. How much is it for ammo? A thousand. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely be taking a thousand. A thousand well spent, I can say. I just know we're almost done. Kill? That's actually good. I think it one shots them anyway, but at least we know for sure it one shots. We're zooming through these rounds. I need to see some of these bosses start spawning now. Okay, this RPG is not one shot anymore on round 14. We got to make sure we get pack punch too, which we're about 5,000 points away. Oh, level three armor? Yes. And we can level up our gun to blue. Oh, yes, please, please, please. Yes, thank you. Come on, Mimic. One more shot. There we go. That's another boss down. That's six. No, that's five. That's five. We're five boss kills away. I will say I kind of wish I was doing this on Dime Machine just for the fact that it's at least bright outside and being bright outside would make it look nicer. But we have to take what we can get. I'm definitely not backing out and trying to match on Dime Machine. Hello there. Yes, another mimic. Let's go. Okay, that's six. Yep, there's right there. We should be one camo away from that, which is the last four. And for Pack-a-Punch kills, I assume we probably need about 200 or 300 more kills. Ooh, the Pack-a-Punch 2 camo goes hard, though. I like the red in that a lot. Hopefully this starts actually, like, one-shotting the zombies. Okay, yeah, it does. You say Pack-a-Punch 2 should definitely be a one-shot. I just... End of round. Let's go. Round by round, we're getting closer. Also, if this video somehow hits, let's say, 25 likes... I will try to get around 100 on a Cold War map. Oh, he's back. He wants revenge. And he's, like, impossible to kill. Come on. Oh, he's charging at me. Right here. One shot. Let's go. That's seven. Three more bosses. We're so close, dude. We're so close. Another round. Finally. Done. Playing Cold War Zombies definitely gets me hot for Black Ops 6 Zombies. Especially if it plays like this. I assume the camo grind is going to be something like it was for MW3. It's either going to be exactly like MW3 or it's going to be exactly like Cold War. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like Cold War, but maybe it's like lower the amount because I feel like every single year now, the amount of stuff we need to get the Master Camos are less and less, which I like for the casual plane, but as a grinder, I kind of wish it was a little bit more. <gasps> there we go! 1,500 kills! Oh wait, is that pack punch kills or normal kills? Okay, wait, I can't be too up yet. I know I'm three boss kills away and then maybe 500 pack punch kills away? Or was that the pack a punch? I don't know. Shoot, now I don't know when this camel's gonna be popping up. Shoot, I would like to really know. Yes. Hello there. Thank you. Okay, two more boss kills. Just two more. so easy just run around 360 shoot your rocket launcher and you're guaranteed to get some kills plus having level 3 armor and phd help this makes it so easy yes disciple disciple come on stay still no stay still okay this might be hard to oh one more shot okay we're possibly one boss away from actually unlocking dark gaither i don't know it's either that or kills i'm not 100 sure this could be it if there's just one boss out there please i'm ready here he is! Is this it? This could be it! Oh no, no, no. Oh no, I need quick ammo. I only have one shot. Wait, that pack a punch! Yes! This is it! This is it! This is the last one! Last boss right here and we unlock it. Pop Rune of Fire. Come on, get out of my way. I don't want to go down for this. Insta kill! This is it! Dark Aether! Where is he? Right here, he's charging me! Oh no, oh no, this is it. Dark Aether. Yes, that's it. We just got Dark Aether. Come on, please pop up. Dark Matter. 
we just unlocked dark matter let's go baby dark matter unlock diamond dark matter is finally ours dude let's go i can't wait to see this camo oh rpg expert we're done with rpg there's the boss kills we leveled up even once. Wow, we did it. Let's go see this camo. I'm ready to see this for the very first time. Oh, we're flying in for this? Okay. <gasps> I see it a little bit. Dark matter, or known as dark aether. Oh my. Yeah, this thing is sexy. Oh, dude, it feels so good having, like, OG dark matter. I can't wait to get in Black Ops 3 as well. I can't wait. Oh, I'm so ready. Oh, yeah. Maybe having dark aether will finally make me good at playing COD. The hit markers don't go away, though. I'm curious as well. Do you guys have this camo? I feel like not a ton of people have it. Just due to the fact that there was actually a lot to do for zombies. I think the smartest way to get the zombies camo is by leveling up all your guns before doing the zombie challenges. I think that will be fastest for DM Ultra and for Dark Aether. Man, I just can't wait to actually start playing. I bet you this looks good on other guns as well. No way. From behind? I feel like I've been just spawn trapped this entire game. I'm just trying to do something with my new camo. Huh? How did I miss that? Hit marker. Why do we always get hit markers? Hit marker again? I have the best attachments on, though. I'm definitely going to still play Cold War Zombies. I just need to find something to do. I you know I could definitely do my DLC weapons, but I don't know if I want to go do all my DLC weapons. Maybe I'll get Dark Aether on some of my favorite DLC weapons, like the PPSH I could definitely do. Maybe the Swiss I could go and do it. I can't wait to see what the BO6 Dark Matter camo looks like. I know it's going to be sick. I don't know if it'll be better than Dark Aether. I still know it's going to be super cool. Especially from like the trailer of what we've seen of Dark Matter and Pack Punch 1 and Pack Punch 2 camos. It's just bound to be good no matter what. No, dude, of course. That guy hit me every time. Ah, oh, dude, that could have been like a clip just in their spawn. Really? How are they behind me already? Oh, dude, this kid has literally been sitting in the corner the entire time. Oh my god. I might need to go back to zombies. I don't know if I can keep playing multiplayer. Multiplayer is just filled with the biggest rats of all time. I can't do anything, ever. No. No, I missed. I'm missing against bots. Like, look at this guy. And I can't kill him. I, I can't kill against the bots. They're too good for me. Oh, let's win this game, please. Let's go 1-0 and with Dark Aether Camo on. Oh, we're so close to winning. Come on. We won. We at least won. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Like for Dark Aether, like for Dark Matter. Peace.